is joining us here at Post 9, Adam Parker, Trivariate Research CEO and CNBC contributor. Adam, good morning to you. Good morning. Great, Thanks great, for having me. Great to see you. So um, before we get to the NVIDIA and the effect of that, what do you think was the core reason for the sell-off we saw over the summer? <laughs> and, and the, I mean, is it easy to, to, to point to what that was it's, down to or not? It's funny you say that because I, I just wrote um, a note saying last Sunday saying, you know, I feel like I'm pretty good at knowing what already happened. I'm not that good at predicting what's going to happen. And this time, I'm not even sure I know what happened. And I could tell you what institutional investors think happened. I can tell you that if I asked 100 of them, they'd all give slightly different answers with different probabilities from Japanese carry trade to election change to competition on, on CapEx for uh, AI from the hyperscalers to a slowing in the U.S. consumer. I mean, there's a cocktail of things people pointed to, but the recovery was pretty, pretty sharp. And if I take a step back and say, what do I care about as an investor? There's two things, perception of growth and perception about rates. Neither of those things look better to me now than they did August 5th. I think despite the retail sales and Walmart numbers, the consumer is slowing if you take the dollars in aggregate. So I can't see how you would raise your 25 earnings numbers based on what you just heard in July earnings. And clearly, if you look at Fed Fund futures 12, 24 months from now, they're lower now than they were six weeks ago. So I kind of take it all in and say prices, rates, um, and growth, I feel a little worse now than I did, you know, six weeks ago. So, so are you advising your clients to take profits after this strong bounce? Well, I think it really depends. I'll, I'll go a little crazy with you and say every growth investor would say I use momentum and every value investor would say I use mean reversion. I think we're in this weird pocket where it's going to be the exact opposite. I think growth stocks, growth guys are going to use mean reversions. You know what? I got kind of upper end of the range here. I don't think I'm going to get the next blast off for another 50 percent in growth stocks right now when the economy is slowing. So maybe I'll take some profits on the stuff that's ripped from August 5th lows. Um, and you know, we'll see what NVIDIA does tonight. As you mentioned, it's a bellwether. But everyone expects they beat by $2 billion and raise by $2 billion in revenue. It's been the pattern. So the bogey isn't low. Uh, and so I think the risk reward is probably skewed a little bit to, to the negative in terms of getting incremental news. I'm wildly bullish on AI in a medium or long-term time frame. But we're talking about right now for the next three months. I think growth guys are going to sell some of the stuff that's bounced. I think value guys... I don't think buying something that's cheap where the stock's down is going to be a good idea. I think the market on average is right when they take stuff lower that um, their earnings get impaired and the economy slow. So I think we're in a choppy period here. Like maybe that's the consensus view, but September you get down with revisions. You have a lot of big conferences from the big bulge bracket banks and tech and healthcare. I don't think you're going to get companies raising numbers in September. I think the skew is to maybe they have to lower some. So I, I think it's not great risk reward at the current moment. So then how do you risk manage something like NVIDIA and that overall posture? Yeah. So I think there's six or seven themes that are going to be above GDP growing themes. AI, semis, software, life sciences, healthcare services, housing. You know, you pick your, and I think you have to balance those themes. You lighten a little of the stuff on mean reversion that's ripped. Uh, and maybe you go into some housing or building materials or healthcare services or things where the estimates aren't for a huge hockey stick and maybe... Um, they're economically sensitive, but maybe less so than some of those. So you're going to have, if everything's working at the same time, that probably means everything's not going to work at the same time. So you've got to have a balance uh, of, of in, in risk management. But you're wildly bullish on AI. Medium, so medium long term, I just think, I just am finishing this, this AI course for healthcare at MIT. It's an online course. I figured uh, we're right at the age where I don't want the technology to pass me by. I better learn something. Hmm. I'm not suggesting you do it. I'm just saying. No, and, yeah, that's, that's fine. Thank you. Okay, I'm, project, I'm projecting. <laughs> and, okay. and, and I'm I'll like, take good advice. Yeah, you know, and, and I'm learning a ton, and I'm just thinking, like, wow. You know, the idea that people think that this is over when it's in, you know, 15, 18 months into people, it, it's ridiculous. There's so many ways you can improve and be more efficient. I just think the question is, will people believe that in the next three months in the stock market, given how much the stocks drop, that's a, you know, the market's different than reality. So I think we're going to get tons of things that are uh, productive from, you know, using uh, doctor's time more efficiently. I, I, I've gotten to the point now when the guys who work for me see me in front of my computer, I'm almost embarrassed. Like, they'll look at me and be like, what are you doing? Like, I do that in Python in two seconds. Like, you, you Adam, you don't open a computer. It's yeah. kind of the same thing. In antiquity. It's yeah. kind of the same thing. Like, you have a pen there with paper? Like, I do. I write doing? notes. Like, <laughs> like no right doctor notes. should be writing anything down. Okay, you know, like it's that sort of world we're in, and I think it's it's going to be wildly efficient going forward. So, you know, like everything, you have this kind of you know lightning bolt shape, and I think the bait is: are we near that first curve? Probably. The prices are telling you that. So I'm not. I'm, I'm really optimistic in the medium long term. But I, at, at the current moment, am I back up the truck on all things related? I probably not. Just where the balance of estimates and valuation.